my dear brothers and sisters may the lord give you peace that is how jesus sent the 72 and others to wish the people whenever they saw new houses new people may the lord give you peace peace be with you happy feast we can be happy today for a change we can smile we can be joyful we are celebrating the feast of one of the most important saints in the catholic church calendar saint anthony of padua incidentally i also belong to his order i am a franciscan today and i am very happy to celebrate this feast in one of the most beloved and uh, visited place of hyderabad our church our shrine of saint anthony this place here in particular mettiguda here has a special meaning to so many of us there are statues of saint anthony in every church but why here and there is saint anthony everywhere in our homes as well but why big queue today down there to touch the feet of saint anthony dear brothers and sisters we have gathered this morning here to thank god for the gift of saint anthony anthony the miracle worker wonder worker is how he is known as but i would like to share with you from my side as a friar as a franciscan how saint anthony would have felt 800 years ago how was he what was his feeling what he must have thought as a friar as a franciscan before that as you know many of you know all the stories on many sayings of saint anthony you know he was a reluctant man very humble and very simple being an augustinian monk and then joining the franciscans was a change of lifestyle being inside to an outsider being a private cloistered person to a public person all this because one day he realized that there are people dying for jesus not dying of starvation but dying as martyrs going out publicly proclaiming the gospel and because of that dying being killed for saint anthony it was like oh my god why i never thought before why i never thought that i should go out and proclaim why i never thought that i should be a witness to outsiders i am comfortable inside secure inside but it that is not all life i think god is calling me for something more i want to both proclaim and die i just don't want to die in this life i just don't want to spend my life and die no i want to be a proclaimer and then die as well for the sake of that proclamation for the sake of that gospel that transformation that change of thinking that change of zeal the change of perspective is what made saint anthony today a great personality in the church calendar in the calendar of the saints otherwise saint anthony would have been one of those many people who lived lived a nice decent life without harming anyone and died as well but he is not to be so he made a difference in the lives of the others he brought people to jesus he brought people to jesus brothers and sisters i'm talking to you today this important aspect of saint anthony when was the last time you brought one person to jesus maybe it's your high wife husband father mother your own child young or old child when was the last time you attempted hey somebody is going away from jesus i should bring him back her back when was the last time a thought occurred in your mind that i must bring someone to jesus perhaps never perhaps once in a way perhaps few times and most of the time you may not have made an attempt at all and today in the name of saint anthony whose children we are devotees we are i am i am claiming you i am asking you i am appealing to you one attempt in your life a decent attempt in your life to bring one person one person minimum begin with i know that you will do much more begin with one person to bring him or her to jesus and sometimes 
they are our own catholics bring them back bring them back to the catholic fold today as we honor saint anthony the readings are beautifully explaining to us the character of saint anthony the life purpose of saint anthony why he is so famous why he is well known what does the word of god tell us today and what does the life of saint anthony wish us to know today one of the things that you look at saint anthony's image wherever you see i want all of you to look at once the statue of saint anthony once you put your i know you have seen him so many times but i want you to note one point there you know saint anthony is always pictured as one who is holding a book supposed to be the bible and on the bible somebody is sitting the infant jesus now this is one of the important aspects of the franciscan teaching as well one of the things that saint anthony was well known he was a theologian he was a scripture scholar he was the doctor of the gospel he was known as because of this you see what is in his hand he was doctor of the gospel we as franciscans will always invoke him saint anthony doctor of the gospel pray for us something that is very unique in his hand there is a bible and there is someone sitting on it the incarnate word made flesh one of the important theology the thinking the thought of the church the god who became human incarnation took flesh this is saint anthony's proclamation this is saint anthony's preaching it is his theology that we should not take our eyes off from this not that we should all be devotees of infant jesus i'm not talking about that i'm talking about the mystery when god decided that he should become human that a spirit should take flesh and dwell among us and that he should pitch his tent among us make his home with us live with us die with us for us and rise again for us this mystery saint anthony was taken up by and if we are picturing him today if we have statues of saint anthony with that book and with that infant jesus it is because of this important theology that saint anthony was teaching that god became human not an ordinary event not a simple mystery to understand his founder our founder saint francis of assisi cried very often thinking of this mystery oh my god how god himself could become human infant take flesh and blood just like you and me was a mystery brothers and sisters not to be taken from granted but to be kept in your mind and in your heart and i am presenting to you today once again when you look at saint anthony when you are devotees to him when you light a candle please see what he is holding he is holding the gift of life he is holding that mystery of god jesus incarnate word made flesh he wants to give it to you jesus himself nothing else nothing else matters as saint paul would say whether i live or die i am for the lord saint anthony was one such beautiful example for us when we celebrate his feast today dear brothers and sisters saint francis of assisi wrote a letter to saint anthony when he was supposed to teach the bible to the students and saint francis of assisi told him wrote to him very strictly saint anthony or no he was not told as saint anthony those days brother anthony as you are going to teach the scripture remember do not extinguish the spirit of prayer and devotion while you may be busy teaching the scripture don't forget that you have to pray and you should have devotion to god you may do all the other things activities but not at the expense of prayer and devotion and saint anthony did that he was an expert he was much learned person but he knew that while he could be very busy with doing 101 things as a christian theologian he was to pray he was to have devotion to god brothers and sisters you may have wonderful love for saint anthony don't forget what he is holding 
what he is giving jesus the word made flesh the word of god don't forget that don't forget to have prayer to god prayer to jesus don't forget to read the word you may do wonderful devotion to saint anthony but not at the expense of not reading the word we are utter failures we are utter ignorant as saint chrysost as saint chrysostom would say or jerome would say ignorance of the word is ignorance of christ you may think that you know jesus but if you don't read the word you actually don't know jesus and some of us are yet to take the bible in our hands yet to take the bible so on this feast of saint anthony i am appealing to all of you dear children dear young people dear couples who have been the devotees of saint anthony take up the bible take up the word the lord speaks to us and on this feast of saint anthony we recognize him as also a very powerful believer in what you and me are celebrating just now the eucharist the story of which you know the donkey even knelt down before the eucharist such powerful person he was not that he made the donkey to kneel down such was the love and devotion of saint anthony when today sometimes eucharist may just become a drama a ritual just an obligation let us recognize that eucharist is the whole life of the church in the eucharist today and every day we celebrate the gift of god we are grateful to god for what god is to us his mystery of his son jesus who became human for us who lived here on earth who died and rose again let us never forget this mystery as we celebrate the eucharist in this mass also eucharist we recognize how weak we are how failing we are how sinful we are and how much each of us are in need of god's mercy and believe me brothers and sisters how merciful god is how much of god's mercy saint anthony used to preach and how even hard hearted proud crooked people were turned into god because of the mercy of god because saint anthony preached the mercy of god so powerfully and i am offering to you today on this feast of saint anthony that mercy of god on which please don't take your eyes off never again say that i cannot be forgiven no you can be forgiven you can be strengthened you can be enthused again given life again given an opportunity again this eucharist teaches us that god is merciful and he is offer he offers to you every time every day and then in this eucharist we listen to the message that say that the lord speaks to us as prophet isaiah says today i want to be the god's instrument i am an anointed person brothers and sisters you and me are anointed please don't ignore this aspect please every catholic is an anointed person god has anointed you don't ignore don't be ignorant of this aspect don't go about as if god is not doing anything to you he has anointed you he has blessed you he has made you holy a live a life of holiness in small things sometimes you want big things this eucharist teaches us that god speaks to us that we are called to be anointed again that we have to also go around proclaim encourage give life give opportunities that is the message of prophet isaiah today and therefore in the gospel of luke today jesus is sending not just the 12 disciples many more 72 plus others sending them out telling them go proclaim there is so much of proclamation to do so much of good news to give today's media sometimes can be terribly negative so much of bad news to offer and sometimes we are busy with that whereas god wants to offer us good news brothers and sisters those of you are tired those of you are lonely those of you feel failure those of you feel there is no more life those of you feel there is a road block some people call it as dead end i am offering you today on this feast of saint anthony the good news of the lord that liberates you sets you free makes you to go forward offers you opportunities 
never ever to give up in your life for god makes all things possible and that is what jesus tells the disciples go proclaim tell the people that god's time has come what more you want when god's time comes our time doesn't matter at all our time is all calculated in the clock and the watch god's time is eternal and god makes things possible nobody can stop it so i'm offering you today on this feast of saint anthony god's time god's mercy god's opportunity in and through the person of saint anthony take it brothers and sisters jesus is sending us out as well not just for ourselves we are not just for our own church we are not just for our own family not just for our own institute we are also meant for others go proclaim for god gives us the good news and not bad news let us obey him and finally brothers and sisters as we celebrate this feast of saint anthony today let us be grateful to god for all the wonders god continues to do to us in and through saint anthony powerful intercessor powerful miracle worker may also perform miracles in your life in my life you believe that god can do remember it's not saint anthony sometimes we think that only saint ant no in and through saint anthony god does god performs god makes things possible to all of us amen